when and how did you become a vegetarian having come from a meat eating non vegetarian family i never really thought i would turn vegetarian one day i used to enjoy eating meat one day many years ago as i was going in my car and uh, i stopped at a traffic light a rickshaw puller came alongside the car and uh, stopped at the same light and i was in a contemplative mood and i started thinking about the relationship you know the interconnectedness between different beings and i was trying to analyze my relationship with this rickshaw puller who was a poor man um, wearing a t-shirt or a vest and a pair of shorts and as i was analyzing this relationship between him and me i realized that he is not affecting me in any negative way however i by sitting in that car am affecting him negatively because my car is producing pollution pollutants which he is breathing he is driving a rickshaw he is not hurting me i am hurting him when this reali- realization dawned upon me and i was little let me say shocked by this realization maybe you know <coughs> because i would think that i being a person of means a person of education would probably impact other people positively and not negatively and here exactly the reverse was happening so i decided at that time to do all that i can to reduce my carbon footprint to reduce the amount of pollution i produce the amount of pollutants or garbage i produce well i do recycle and uh, you know try to consume as little as possible to travel as less as possible but my work is such that i do have to travel for work so that set me thinking what else can i do to reduce my carbon footprint and i had read recently at that time that a study had come out which said that you know the breeding of cattle produces more pollution on this earth than all the automobiles put together so i said well that's something i can do i give up meat and become a vegetarian by becoming vegetarian i was hoping to reduce my carbon footprint or the amount of pollutants i produce and so i became a vegetarian a few months later as i was traveling from uh, hong kong to delhi i forgot to mention uh, before my flight that i need a vegetarian meal because i had just turned vegetarian so it was just not there on the top of my head and it was a long flight i had not eaten before the flight for a long time and they did not have a vegetarian meal on board for me and i was hungry and i thought to myself i have not really become vegetarian for any spiritual reason or any great love for animals i became a vegetarian because i wanted to reduce you know pollution on earth so even if i eat a little bit now it's not going to make that much of an impact so i did order the meat course the veg- non vegetarian course i ate it firstly i did not enjoy the meal at all though when i ordered the meal i was thinking i used to enjoy this so much and now i am eating it after so many months i would really love it but i did not enjoy it i think i probably did not even finish the whole meal and send it back secondly more than that i felt very uneasy and restless for the next 3 days 
I know that it takes about 72 hours for the meat to be digested and thrown out of the system. So maybe that was the period that I felt so uneasy and kind of queasy with myself. It's then I realized during those three days that it was not just the, you know, reducing my carbon footprint, which was the motivation. That may have been the, the kind of the point, you know, at which I decided to turn a vegetarian. But the reasons were much deeper. The reasons were much more that I could no longer enjoy or taste flesh because it was wrong. And uh, there was something in my consciousness itself which was rejecting the whole idea, the whole concept of uh, eating another sentient being. So since then, of course, I have not touched meat and I have remained a vegetarian. And uh, there have been many beneficial effects of me turning vegetarian as well. Uh, my spiritual practices, my meditative practices have become easier. I think um, uh, I feel lighter, I feel better. I have lost weight, though it may not seem so, but I have over the last uh, years, for so many years. And um, I just feel better about myself. So there is no reason for me ever to go back to eating uh, meat. And I would encourage all meat lovers or meat eaters to at least turn vegetarian for a short period of time and see the difference it can make, to your, make in your life. And uh, as a matter of fact, there's a movement now happening all around the world because we know how much harm we are doing to not just to our own bodies, but to earth itself by eating meat. A movement of meatless Mondays where we don't have meat in cafeterias in Europe and Americas. Uh, and similar to our meatless Tuesdays in India when we don't eat meat. So just by not eating meat for a day or two days or three days, uh, we are reducing our carbon footprint quite a bit. Um, so I do encourage you to uh, become vegetarian and see the change for yourself. If you have any feedback, any questions, please leave them on this page. Uh, if you would like to ask me a question, please do so, and I will try to answer it in one of my subsequent videos. Uh, thank you for watching this.